prove it to you. You gotta be bold to wear the gold. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you've noticed, but the 80s are back. Shows like Stranger Things, songs like Blinding Lights, Floral is back. You might as well bring back the gold watch. This right here is the Seiko SK5, oh no, I messed up, SKK52. Um, very cool little piece. It's not something I would wear every single day, but for certain situations, for certain outfits, I would definitely put it on. I have absolutely zero style, uh, but this really caught my eye for the summer. All right, so let's turn that camera around and we'll get a closer look at this Seiko 5. All right, guys, well, here it is. Like I said before, this is the SNKK52, Seiko 5. Let's start off with some dimensions first. Because online, it was a little bit weird. It said 35 and a half which I did not believe. Um, so let's see what we have going on here. Looks like it's 40 millimeters at the widest part. That's what it seems like. All right. And let's do a thickness or a thinness, I should say. Right about 10.3. And a lug to lug, 41.5-ish, somewhere around there. Um, it wears really well. So one thing that I did not like about the watch, I guess first things first, we'll get the cons out of the way. Um, if you listen to it, I don't know if you can, you're gonna be able to hear it, but hang on, let's see if you can listen to it. And put up the mic. It's quite loud, actually. So I was not expecting that. Like I said before, I am not the biggest um, watch connoisseur, but the sound coming from the rotor was actually quite alarming at first. I didn't realize that uh, some automatic watches actually made that sound. Um, but aside from that, the end link, I mean, all the bracelet links are folded, um, which is all right. I mean, I'm not too crazy about that, but for a hundred bucks, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna complain too much about everything. And then the 30 meters water resistance, eh, I'm not gonna go swimming in this watch, so I, it really does not bother me. Um, but everything else about this watch I really love. The two-tone, or I guess two-finish, we have like the polish on the rim there and then a brushing on the links and on the case itself. On the side you have a very nice polishing. And like I said, on the back here, display case back really shows off that movement. Not that it's the prettiest of movement. Um, let's see if I can get that in there. I wish they didn't have that lettering there. I, mean, I know you have to have something there, but I really wish they didn't have to have that there because it really obscures the movement. Um, this movement doesn't hack, which is kind of a bummer, but I guess here, I'll pull it out, the crown for you. Two really distinct clicks on the crown. So I'll do it, I'll do it again. So, which is good. Um, you can see it's not hackable. Um, so that second hand is going to keep moving here. Um, and then as we're turning it here, we'll change the time. So as you can see, the date has started to move at around 1030. And then the day is going to start moving here momentarily. So let's see where it clicks over. So it clicks over right before midnight. And then the day starts to move. And it goes, I believe that's German, maybe? And then it's gonna keep going maybe until, there we go. 
so probably about 3.30 or so. Um, not, it doesn't really bother me at all. Like I said, it's not my everyday piece, so I'm going to have to set everything anyways. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really bother me at all. The indices are applied very nicely. Let me see if I could get at least a little bit of a close-up shot there. They're applied very nice, highly polished, which is very good. Um, yeah, this watch really shines, really blings. And it has a nice sunburst dial there, as you can see. I wish I had a better camera so I could show you guys. Um, 21 Joule Seiko movement. Yeah, the movement in there is a Seiko 7S26. Uh, I believe it's a 21 Joule movement. Self-winding does not have uh, manual wind. It's just going to keep going. So no manual wind on that, which is, eh, take it or leave it. Um, the crystal is a hard lex. Um, Seiko's proprietary crystal. So a little bit harder than mineral crystal. You guys already know that. Um, integrated bracelet. I guess let's see what it tapers down to. Um, nice foldable clasp too. I like the double push button clasp. Let's see here. Tapers down to a 15 and then at the clasp it's about 17 and a half or so. So it fits really nice. Um, it's a little bit like clanky, you know, flimsy, but you know, like I said before, this is, you're going to wear this watch in certain situations. You're not going to wear it every single day, or at least I won't, you might. Um, but overall, very nice. The loom on it, it's actually pretty decent. Um, you're only going to have, um, it on the hands here and then little pips around so little half circles uh let me actually let me put in a loom shot here you're gonna have a little bit of loom on the hands and then pips around the outside of the dial half circles it's okay it's not bad i'm not expecting the world with this watch but all right so let's go ahead and put it on my seven and a half inch wrist and you know what they say about guys with big wrists they don't have to remove as many links all right, there you go. So it actually fits quite well. I'm actually pretty, when I bought it, I was pretty surprised on how well it fit. Now I didn't have to take out any links, so I don't know how the link removal process is. It does look pretty good if I don't say so myself. And there it is, the pros, the cons, and everything in between about the Seiko 5. Overall, I love the watch. Really compliments a few of my outfits. And uh, when I put it on, I just feel like Scarface. I don't know what it is about it, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, uh, leave a comment below, share the video, um, and check out all the links I have in the description.